Hi, Jaron Techies. The seventh edition of the HTEC market map just dropped. And whenever we release a new version, I always get asked by HTEC startup founders, how can I get my company featured on this list? So first of all, we've got the link to both the latest version of the map and the form to submit your company in the video description below. And also, I wanted to take this opportunity to talk a little bit about our inclusion criteria and how we review the companies whenever we create a new version of the map. So first and foremost, your company has to be a for-profit tech company that makes a product for older adults, family caregivers, or elder care providers. So service companies, you're doing amazing jobs. Unfortunately, we cannot include you. Same goes for nonprofit entities. After we've ticked this box, we go to the next qualifying criteria, which is to have your company backed by a venture capital fund or to have a commercially available product. So if your company has received VC funding, make sure that information is easily accessible online or submit your company using the form and provide us with this information. But even if your company has not received any funding and you're bootstrapped, we're all for bootstrapping startups. If your product is commercially available, meaning you have paying users, or we can just go on your website and buy the product, that gets you on the list. I also want to address some feedback that we get from time to time about the HTEC market map being too Western centric. First of all, I have to say I 100% agree with this feedback. And all I have to say for our defense is that our team is based in Western countries and we only have visibility into English speaking markets. So if you're a local in a country that has an amazing HTEC ecosystem and you want to write an article about it in English or create a market map about it, please reach out to us. We are more than happy to provide the platform. You might also have noticed that some of the startups, let's say from Japan or from India that are featured on the market map have headquarters in more than one country and have English websites. So we don't have to rely on Google Translate to make sense of what exactly is this company offering. And that to us is a very strong signal that the company has international aspirations and the potential for global expansion. And since the HTEC market map is global, we do make an effort to include those types of companies. So to summarize, if your HTEC startup ticks all of these boxes and you believe it belongs on the HTEC market map, please submit it for review so we can include it on the next edition. Until next time, stay humble, stay curious. And one more thing. We will be hosting the State of HTEC webinar on June 25th, and you are all invited. I will add the link to the video description as well. Hope to see you soon.